Hey there, welcome back to Pokemon Sacred or Sword and Shield Surprise Log. We're still on Route 10. We're almost to uh, Winden, where we can fight the final Pokemon League or tournament or Elite Four, whatever it's supposed to be. Honestly, I should get off my get off my bike. It's really hard to avoid wild Pokemon in tight spaces like here. I feel like the people on this route should be wearing uh, thicker clothing. I guess I could say the same about myself. I'm wearing a t-shirt. You know, I like that they added flapping noises for a lot of the bird Pokemon, but I feel like Pelipper's is really loud. Uh, what's Nasty Plot? You probably won't do anything crazy, right? My Sinistee's weak armor, too, so... That's kind of bad. Um, it's, it's weak armor, so if I Nasty Plot and then he hits me, I should be fast enough to do some good damage. Not with his tail end up there. What's next? Is this something with Swift Swim? Poison Dab. Uh, no, I'd rather just have Venishar. Especially with Baneful Bunker. Noctowl. Uh, I'm trying to think, and I think Noctowl would have anything to let me do. I don't really think so. I worked till Air Slash, but I'll be alright. Oh, come on. Of course he lands it. Wait, does Noctowl get Cloudbound Eyes? I don't think it does. I wish it's just Tinted Lens and Keen Eye. Alright, let's go into. I guess Alex would be pretty good. Pyro Wall should. Actually, now it's raining. This was a mistake. But it's okay, I'll still do enough damage with my other attacks. Let's use Bounce. I wonder if uh, Cinderace gets Aerial Ace. I haven't seen anyone run any Flying-type moves on it, but I feel like it might be alright, too, because anything with a Flying-type move gets Max Airstream, and Max Airstream is really powerful. But I wonder if running this thing with Dynamax Bounce would be worth it. Probably not. So other moves are much better. At least now the, uh, the rain's gone, so it's going to die to Pyro Ball. Unless I miss. Okay, good. And, uh, Chesto. I only have three Chesto Berries? Wow, I really need some more. The bike is really annoying to control in small areas. In, uh, tight areas. So, it's honestly kind of a pain for me to be using it. It's good for the wild area, but I don't like... I don't like how it controls everywhere else. Especially since you can't stop using the boost when you use the Roto Boost. No, 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 they're so fast. And those bear tech want me dead.
Oh, yep, they do want to kill me. Okay. I thought they were just going to look at me. I was actually afraid I might not be able to escape. It was level 55, and also it could have Slush Rush. Wow, he still saw me. Okay, I guess I can't get past here without fighting this gauntlet. Is this guy gonna set up the sand? Is it just gonna be a gauntlet of weather? Alright, Giga Drain should do a decent amount. Let me go ahead and nasty plot, because I know it won't one-shot it. Especially with the sand up. Sand is just so powerful, making rock types tanky. Oh, and he's going for iron defense. Sand is just so powerful making rock types tanky like this, and steel types and ground types don't take damage. It's just so useful. I really wish hail was at least close to being this good. Ah, oh, crap, hold on, someone's at the door. Alright. Oh, my controller died. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna go get batteries now. Okay, I'm officially back with my new energizers in this controller. And right on. That can also get Giga Drowned. I'm actually surprised at that one shot Giga I mean, I know it did nasty plot, but it is sandy. Oh god, my controller is, uh... Doesn't want to go down, only up. Can I fix this? Am I gonna have to use Joy-Cons? Please don't make me use Joy-Cons. Maybe I can just recalibrate it by turning it off and on again. Let's see, you're gonna let me walk down? Nope, it's uh, drifting that way. Okay, I can't... I can't go down. <laughs> this is me trying to go down and to the right. Not working. Alright, be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm using Joy-Cons. I couldn't fix my controller. Hopefully it's not broken permanently because I really like that controller and that's gonna piss me off if it is. Alright, let's just keep going. Let's lead with, um... Chrissy here. The problem with my Joy-Cons is they drift too, so... Oh god. Like that. Like they drift sometimes. My Joy-Cons are kind of broken, and I don't want my only actual controller to also be broken. It's not as bad as it just was, so I'm just gonna keep trying. I'll try to fix my controller next time. I should be fine against our Manitan with this. It's not gonna survive a close combat. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's that's the power of our Manitan. That, that high school crash hurt quite a lot. If I was any lower, the hail would have killed me. Ooh, phalanx. Okay, I should be good to go into this with... Arthur? Yeah, you should be fine. Brave Bird will do good damage, right? I really like phalanx, it's such a cool Pokemon. I really wish I got one in the surprise trades. Or I guess got some, not got one, because they always come in groups of like six. Drop locked, another fighting type. It should be water fighting, but guess not. I also really wish Phalanx was fighting steel. I, I just really don't like pure fighting types. There's way too many.
We're never gonna land slam. What a garbage move. I have to keep healing after every battle. The Tormentan almost killed Chrissy. That was very close to just being an insta death. <laughs> I like the camera guy. His face. Heliolisk Clothine. I feel like there's some strategy going on behind this, but I, don't, I can't really see what it is. Okay, well, Chrissy should be fine to just kill the Heliolisk. I think that's the biggest threat. And then I'll go into... Wow, I don't have anything to resist electric. Okay, we're gonna go into... Venus, I think. I guess I could just stay in. But I don't think, no, because Arthur's not going to be faster than Heliolisk, so I have to swap. I was going to just U-turn, but it'll be safer if I just leave. Yeah, good thing I left. Getting thundered would not have been good for, uh, for Arthur. Oh, and he's going for shift gear. Oh, I think I know what this strategy is. I think they're plus and minus. Maybe. I don't know. Does Daniels get plus? I'm actually not sure. I actually don't think it does. I think its abilities are solar power and dry skin. I don't know if the last one's minus. Like it's volt absorb? I don't remember. Okay, well after the shift gear, it's definitely gonna attack. Venus here with like your blind or something. Oh god, that's not good. Okay, I have to leave. I was gonna say I could just close combat when trying, but Chrissy's defenses are lowered and I have to leave. So he's gonna use a flying type move on Chrissy and Noivern. So let's go into Arthur and then I'll swap the Venus into Toxapex to take the gear grind. This clink line is really scary now that it went for shift gear. So I need to be careful. I need Mist Gear Blind anyway. Okay, I'm just glad that Arthur didn't get confused off of that hurricane. At the very least, Hail needs more moves that do something in Hail. Because Rain has Hurricane, Thunder, all water type attacks. And uh Solar Solar Beam and Solar Blade for fire and just all fire moves. Hail has only Blizzard, and the power isn't even increased. It just means Blizzard doesn't miss. That's the only thing Hail teams have going for it. It's really sad. Alright, let's go ahead and. Did I I, I think I should attack. No, we need to get rid of the Clang Clang for sure. I'm gonna body press it and go for Scald on it. Zap Cannon, and he didn't miss! Hey, Arthur lived. Good thing it doesn't have too much special attack. Whatever, it's super fanging. It's fine. It's not gonna kill me. It's just gonna do a lot of damage. I could really go for a burn right now. Yes. Okay, that's really good. And body press actually lands. It should die to this, right? I can't believe he landed Zap Cannon. Funny thing is, even if you held Zoom Lens with Zap Cannon, it's only a 20% boost. So, it would be 60 accuracy instead of 50 with Zoom Lens. That's really sad, actually. I was thinking of, oh, maybe I could use Zap Cannon with Zoom Lens, but no, it's not even worth it. Why are their teams so scary? I have to leave. That's what I'm gonna do really well. Um, let's go into... any on... Ugh, I don't know which one the Tug Animal is gonna attack. And would it be... I don't wanna get Hurricane to the butt. It's 
fine. Let's just try to swap. Let's go into Penny and then also swap into up Toxic Effects into Chrissy. Hopefully this doesn't screw me over. That seems really low after the beating it's been taking from this from these two. They're actually really strong. Oh, wait, that's not good. Yep, that's dead. <laughs> I didn't think he'd Hurricane Toxic X. Um, but well, he wasn't gonna Hurricane Arthur, so that I shouldn't have done that. That was my mistake. And Zing Zap hurts quite a bit, but at least I'm weak armored. So I should be faster than both of them. Maybe not Noivern? I'm not sure. I think I should be faster than Noivern, because I should have base 140 speeds right now with the weak armor. Um, crap. Okay, we're gonna go into Alex because I can try to kill to get Amari with Pyro Ball, and then have Sinisty attack Noivern. Actually, I should just heal. Okay. I just need to make sure that, yeah, let's heal, and then make sure that, uh, uh that to get Amari dies. Please die to this. It shouldn't it shouldn't really be able to take Pyro Ball, right? Cool. I should be fine to 2v1 this Noivern. The weak armor drop shouldn't really affect Sinistee since it's just using special attacks. Oh, it went for Tailwind. Okay, we're good. He's definitely going to be faster than me now, but that's okay. He's not going to kill me. Kenny has decent special defense. Come on, just let me press B. That's the, that's the drift going on right there, where it was going left and right. I wasn't pressing left and right. I guess it could just... It's U-turn? No, actually, let's just go for Pyro Ball. It should still do enough damage, especially if they're both attacking. Okay, he's dead to the hail. Well, actually, he's dead to the pyro ball, but he would have died to the hail. That sucks, I didn't want to lose Chrissy, because I, I really wanted to use Surfresh, but... Yeah, I swapped in. That was that was completely my fault. I swapped in when I pretty much should have inferred that I was gonna get hurricaned. I actually need to go back and heal, because wasting my healing items on this would be a mistake, especially since I can just fly back. It's really hard to select the city because my thing goes to the right when I don't want it to. Alright, who should I add instead of Surfetched? Do I have anything else? I guess I could have Riolu. That's a fighting type. I'm sorry, Chrissy. I didn't mean for this to happen. Alright, let's see. Who else can we use? I guess I'll, I could just add Blitbug. I don't have any... I don't know, I do have a Psychic type, but... I think I'd want to use Blitbug anyways. I mean, what else could we use? I guess I could add one of these back to the team. I guess Gallade could, could return. Dark Fairy. I think adding Harry would be the best, honestly. Alright, Harry, come back to us. Let's go ahead and give it an item and then we can move on. What do I want to use? I guess leftovers are good enough. Is there anything else I wanted to have? Assault Vest? Does it have four moves? I think that should be good, right? I need to check its moveset. I don't even remember what it has. 
think it's just four attacks there, so, so, so Assault Vest should be good. Yeah, cool. And then... I'll go ahead and make some TMs in case it has anything new it can learn. No, actually, it's, it's current moves that should be good. I did just look at it. A little low-leveled, but that's okay. It'll it'll catch up. Especially since it's Assault Vest, it should be tanky enough to take certain things. Excuse me, Bear Tick. I'm really worried about my controller. I hope it's not broken. I don't want to have to get a new one. Oh, Winden was right here the whole time. I didn't even need to fly back. 